In this RetroArch GBA setup guide, we'll show you step by step how to configure RetroArch to play Game Boy Advance games using the MGBA core. MGBA on RetroArch works fantastically well on Windows, Android, Mac, and Linux versions of RetroArch. So grab your controller and get ready to experience the magic of the GBA once again, but this time on the big screen. A few things we'll need to make sure are done first are to install RetroArch, have at least one GBA game ROM ready to test. These are typically .GBA files. And to play games, ideally you'll need a controller. You can try using keyboard controls, but these games are of course best experienced using a controller. The 8-Bit Doe Pro 2 Bluetooth controller is an excellent choice and can also be connected by USB for even better performance in terms of latency. And it's the one I tend to use for all of my emulation. Check out the links in the description for this controller. So the first step, once we have RetroArch installed, is to download the MGBA core. Boot up RetroArch, select Load Core, and then Download a Core. And then scroll down the Core Downloader list until you reach Nintendo Game Boy Advance MGBA. Select this and the MGBA core will begin to download and install. If you already have RetroArch installed on your system, it's best to go back to the main menu, scroll down to Online Updater, and then select Update Core Info Files and Update Databases. This will perform updates on all the important files and databases in RetroArch, ensuring everything is all up to date and reducing the chance of any issues. Believe it or not, that's all there is to it. Once you've installed RetroArch, connected your controller and installed the MGBA core, you just need to select a game. It's also worth noting that the MGBA core doesn't require any BIOS file to run, so we're ready to load our first game now. So next, go back to the main menu and select Load Content, then go to where you store your GBA games and select the game ROM you wish to play. The game will then boot up and you're ready to go. One of the best features of RetroArch are all of the filters and shaders that are available to give your games that extra retro feel. The MGBA core comes with a range of options to help you tweak your emulator to perfection. So to access the core options, press the F1 key or the hotkey you've set up to pause emulation to access the quick menu in RetroArch. Next, scroll down the menu until you get to and select Options. This will then give you access to all of the MGBA core emulator options. Here you'll find a range of settings that affect video, audio and emulator performance. One particular cool feature is the interframe blending options found under the video options. Here you can select from a range of LCD ghosting effects as well as simulating the Game Boy's LCD screen blur when objects on the screen are in motion. So that's all there is to it. The Game Boy Advance is a really easy system to get up and running on RetroArch and I hope this guide has been helpful in getting you started. Be sure to explore the channel and howtoretro.com to find more emulator and RetroArch guides. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.